So I'm out here checking out another potential canoe launch. Uh, we're about an hour away from, from sunset. This time I'm on the Illinois River over near Peoria. And I found a nice sandy, gravelly area. Of course, like I've said, you gotta look got to go down and turn over rocks and um, finding a lot of the usual stuff flints, shirts, um, some not very colorful jaspers I've got a handful of items that we'll, I'll take down and, and uh, wash in a river mostly tumbling stuff The stuff here isn't very big. Matter of fact, the majority of of what's in this particular place is actually sand, and so this is just a small stretch of of beach here that actually does have um, some gravel-sized pieces. Let's see. Sorry for my bad camera work. I always kind of wondered why some of the other YouTubers had a hard time focusing their camera on what they were doing until, of course, I tried doing it myself. And uh, it's not as easy as it looks having your attention two different places. This one caught my eye because of the, the band in the middle. I don't think it's anything special. A couple more pieces of red. That one looks a little agate A little translucent. Uh, it doesn't show up very well. It's color coming through. Another small piece I'll put through a tumbler. Yeah. So I'll keep these these red pieces on this one. Let's see what that looks like sliced open. This one caught my interest. I think it's another piece of red with uh, some quartz or agate in there. I picked up this piece earlier um, because I saw the, the kind of the banding I thought interested me and then I got to looking at it and I I think this has some of the uh, white petrified fossils in there as well. You can see right here, the tip of my thumb, a clear quartz crinoid stem. So I'm going to take that and slice that up and see what that looks like. And uh, then this one. Kind of an interesting quartz formation. It's let's see if I can focus on it. It's kind of all white on top. They go underneath, and it's, it's actually like you would see on the inside of a an agate. The way the quartz crystals there kind of reminds me of the the red desert roses, kind of sandstone. But this is not sandstone, it's all quartz. Interesting. Very center. I don't know if you can see all these, but I'm kind of walking back to the car and I'm getting a, assaulted by all these. I'm not sure what they are. All I know is they won't land on my hand. Oh 
maybe I can get a close up on the. There we go. Let's try that. You know what these are? There's thousands of them around here. piece of blue right there. Got some agate in there, some clear portions. Got some nice bandings in it. I totally don't need this, but here is another rather large piece that's just filled with fossils. just be to the one side too but I'm gonna wash this off and decide whether I want to lug this home or not so here's another piece of that that ro rock that's uh, I believe it's sil silica that's just covered with uh, crinoids and I saw this one here that looks kind of interesting with uh, with the shell pattern. I believe it's the same type of rock. I think I'll take this one home. And uh, then I found this, which is it's more gray than blue, but boy, it's a nice piece of chert. So I think I'll take that one home as well little distance away from the river or a little streamlet is coming in and I think I'm gonna explore that and see what's up there. This place is abundant with uh, with chert. Some banded, some plain big piece right here really nice and white until you look underneath it's gray I'm trying to decide which ones I'm most likely to use there's another piece right there design pattern banding in there I'll take that well my last cutting video has made me all excited about getting getting these shirts that have potentially blue blue banding in it and so I am actually finding a lot of this here oh, that is just really nice taking home with just about every piece that I've seen that looks this nice. Well, that's it for this video. It was just a couple quick trips to the Illinois River that I combined into one video. 
but uh, while I didn't find much, I was pleased with what I found. And if you've, if you've watched this far, I appreciate it. And please stay tuned. There's more to come.